the survivability can be gone. Plant, Plant is, is a super heavy, so we may be seeing a lot of that survivability play into a part in the more Squirtle and Ivysaur heavy Noku, but also Ivysaur down air is a thing, and, and Plant doesn't have a lot of ways to get around that, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. But uh, it, it's definitely a character who struggles in some senses with, uh, re with recovering. It's very linear, very right? It is actually a little awkward though, but um, I mean, as long as you play your cards right, Piranha Plant hits like a truck, like literally. Like there's apt, there's like cement that's inside that pot right there. But I mean, between Patui and the um, the Poison Cloud as well, like there's a lot of big heavy damage. Uh, Patui's like, well, see, that's Man. what we're talking about right there. Man. Patui does like 20%, by the way, like every time it lands, it's absolutely gross. Yeah, absolutely insane individual move on a character that can sometimes have a little bit of a lackluster kit. That dash attack is crazy, though. I like how yeah, no it's, oh, it's crazy because, like, Plant has a quite a few really good moves. It's just the rest of the character sucks. Like, <laughs> up smash is probably one of the best up smashes in the game. I'm going to be real with yeah. you. Frame two jab. Like, not many characters can say yeah. they have a frame two jab. But, that is you know, true. you have to do that in order to avoid Ivy Dare, which leads yeah. you to hit by Ivy up air instead. It's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's definitely a, uh, a wacky character. But as we can see right now, Noku definitely uh, not feeling the pressure here at all, man. This Ivy Source definitely put a little bit of work. All right, I like the patience. Ooh, they were looking for the drop through up air. Just was not able to get the right positioning. Yeah, it looks like it's looking for a trade here on the Razor Leaf and Batui. Just needs one of them in order to connect. Looking for the grab, not finding it either. And Noku's able to stuff out plant, uh, Jut's plant and his attempt to find one of these aerials. 135 here on Noku. And yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta watch your feet sometimes, man. Ivy Sword's got some privilege on this stage, on any stage, honestly. But there goes Batui doing his job. Uh, it's gonna be able to take out that stock on Charizard. I mean, it's a big body, you already a high percentage. It's pretty much guaranteed at that point. But the problem is that now you gotta go through Squirtle and Ivy Sword again, and this is just not a spot you wanna be when you're a character like Plant. Miss Tech as well, that's where Squirtle needs to kill you. And again, has to, in order to take, he has to take that up air in order to not die. And mm -hmm. Plant can take a couple up airs, but how many of those situations do you really want to be in? Looking for a deep edge guard there. Ooh, I do like the stall oh. using the Patui, just briefly, uh, just to, you know, try to get back on the stage. So, I mean, it definitely did keep them alive a little bit. Oh, okay, I like the down B shenanigans. You're definitely trying for something a little bit cheeky here. But yeah, this is not good right now. Uh, Ivy Sword <laughs> absolutely farms characters like Prada Plant in that scenario. As you can see, Noku finishing up that game one. And honestly, if I was Jut, I would go for Incineroar because Incineroar has a much better matchup in this type of scenario. Like, yes, Ivy Sword's a little bit of a problem. Squirtle smothers you. But as soon as you get your chance to, like, it's your turn to play the game, both of those characters can absolutely melt under Incineroar's pressure and his power, so I would probably go for a nice switch here. Uh, it doesn't sound like Jut is in the in the right camp, though. Sticking it out with the plant. The, he he said it at the beginning of the day. Going all plant today. Sticking to his guns. Made top eight. Got this far. Might as well keep it going. And if there's anything that Jut needs to do, it's to almost change up his ledge trapping a little bit because Noku found a lot of success not only with that vine whip under the stage taking a page out of Quid's book but also <laughs> plenty of razor leaves from ledge which just threw off how Jut wanted to set up his ledge trapping flow. I uh... mean yes but also the fact that like <laughs> he hasn't really gotten a lot of ledge trap uh, scenarios. It's, it's been the Noku show basically the entire way through. If Squirtle's not tacking on damage you got Ivysaur just creating a a really tough wall to try and get through. Like, these Razor Leafs are also huge. You kind of pointed these out from the ledge. Never mind that. Just look at them on stage, and then you get the scenario right here. Okay, wasn't in the right position to try and close out that stock, but it certainly was a little bit scary. Man, this is just good move, dude. <laughs> look at how many they're throwing out. It's all over the place. Able to block that, though, get a little bit of damage with that forward throw. Batui on ledge, respecting the Vine, the vine Whip again. All right. And Jut finish out the stock here. I like the idea. I really do. <laughs> yeah, uh, at that scenario, you probably would have been better going off with the uh, for the downbeat, and you probably could have potentially charged it fast enough uh, to true. catch him slipping. I mean, it's it's still a, a scenario I probably want to want to put myself in as plant, especially with the way that Noku's kind of been farming the plant while plants off stage. You know. Yeah, this is just it's plants versus plants right now, and Ivysaur is showing that these leaves are a little bit sharper. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a tough spot to be in, too. But either way, all right, going to be landing right back on the stage. 124, I mean, Jut could find a way to take a stock here. 
in a little bit. Going for that downbeat, yeah. actually almost getting spiked That's because cheeky. of the extension of the hurt box. That would have been fun. The back throw here, not going to close out the stock on with the up throw quite yet, and looking for the intercept with that forward air, but Jet just falling behind very quickly. Flint has plenty of survivability, but <laughs> man, does does Ivysaur know how to close out stocks? Missing that down air. <sighs> the worst part was like, <laughs> Jet tried landing with a nair, and Doku said, let me show you a better nair. Yeah. A nair that's exactly what you have, just better. And actually won the trade. We do see the up throw finally close that out. Again, Plant has a fantastic up throw. Like, again, it's, he's got moves that are just so, so good. It's just, he's it's on such a bad character, man. It's, it's He could have been great. He could have been great. It was so close. We could have seen we it. We see the stock he closed out. I could have been a champ. Doku, what's up? <laughs> just making a joke. <laughs> no, Doku is now one stock closer to trying to close this one out. You see the Ivy Sword. There comes the Vine Whip. The down air. Oh, okay, never mind the nair first. He, he's trying to get a little cheeky with it. And cheeky, he continues to be. That up air doesn't do it, but the up Ooh. smash almost <laughs> just so far behind at this point. The vine whip doesn't reach. The razor, the nature layer somehow does. Man, <laughs> just no, no rest for the wicked here. Uh, Jut getting outranged at every opportunity by these ivy sort up and down air and. Whether it be called the colloquials, like whether it be dare, or stun spore, however you want to call it, it was a thorn in the side of this plant, and Jut falls 2-0 yeah. to Noku. You it, know what? He won the man. controller game, though. He definitely had a much sicker-looking controller True. than Noku. Yeah, just, <laughs> I'll definitely give that one up. But yeah, this is just a tough spot in general. Man, Ivy Source just got such a great kit for dealing with heavier characters in general, right? It's just because he's got some great uh, aerials as well. You know, it's just how it works out. Like back air, we didn't even see back air that much, but that thing's yeah. insane. The Razor Leaf absolutely messing Plant up the entire way through. You like, Patui's one of the moves that Plant kind of really needs to get going, you know, to rack up damage pretty quickly. But when Razor Leaf's coming out, it just completely disrupts that. Uh, it kind of sucks because Patui, it's also got this weird, like can be a counter attack move because Right. Uh, I've seen some plants when they hold it, people want to go in, they want to like grab them immediately or attack and it just lands right on top of them because they they're not reacting fast enough. Razor Leaf doesn't care. He's just yeah. going to stay away over there. Just, hey, do we eat this? I ain't worried about it at all. But either way, uh, good run from Jut today.